Oh, hello there. This is um, my new quad. I'm kind of still building, although it's, it's built really, I'm just tweaking it. Uh, and this is the XJ470, the quantum frame. Um, and one of the reasons I got it is because, as you see, it's all folded back. Um, and I'm using these DJI 2312 motors because they have these props that you can just spin on and off really easily. So this is part of the E310 power set, which I think they use in the Phantom there as well, the Phantom Freeze. So this is going pretty well. Um, here's a quick video of it flying, and I've been, I've only had a couple of flights and I've messed around with the gimbal and stuff. But one of the things um, I haven't done, because it's still got a, a couple of wobbles, is these props. Uh, they've got the lovely advantage of, of being colour coded on the top, so you can tell black ones go on one of the motors, <laughs> whether it's um, clockwise or anti-clockwise, and um, silvers go on the others. They've even got tiny little um, printed arrows here to say which which way you're supposed to spin them on. But of course, the first thing you do on a multi rotor is you balance these props out. The props are one of the biggest causes of vibrations. But because of this. They don't fit on my little cheap ass balancer. There's a problem. So, what can you do? Well, I went on the internet and I looked at eBay and I found this guy called a Muscle Flex, of all things. Interesting name. And he produces these. This is a little handmade um, aluminium rod. And what he's done, he's basically cut two threads in, one and a color coded. So, Silver end goes on silver. Scroll like so. Like that. Uh, obviously you wouldn't balance them both together. So the reason I mention this is because having had some pretty poor customer service um, over the last couple of weeks, I was pretty impressed with this guy. Um, he states very clearly on the eBay listing that he gets most stuff out next day, but he might be three or four days, um, as he's just had a new baby, uh, his wife did. Um, so I went ahead and ordered this because I thought it was all very upfront. He puts pictures of how he makes them and, and hand polishes them and all that. Um, and what was interesting about this is after I ordered it, I got the uh, confirmation from eBay and PayPal that I've paid. I also got an email from him saying it was underway. And then um, I got an email of him having taken a photo of the envelope that he sent to me with like my address and uh, the fact it had a, the post done before he sent it out. So I thought that was just a little bit above and beyond. So I wanted to mention this guy because um, I think just doing something a little bit special sometimes goes quite a long way. And just, just having that extra um, confidence in buying something that it was on its way and getting to you uh, was nice. But let's see how I'm going to use this, because what I can't do is put it in there. I will show you what I'm going to do. So here's a problem. It doesn't fit, obviously. Now, if you've got one of those fancy smancy ones with the little frictionless wheels, um, you're OK. You can just plonk it on top. What I'm going to use is a Coke can. It's obviously not as accurate, because uh, it's not as frictionless as it could be. However, if it's out, I should know if it's out properly, which it is. Now, what I found, because I'd just done this before, is these silver ones seemed more out than the black ones. So I'm just going to pop a bit of tape on that and see if we can balance it up. Some pieces of tape later. In the circumstances of a Coke can and a rod sitting on it, it's not the most accurate thing, but it's better than just looking and guessing. So um, I'm hopeful that should take a few more of the little wobbles out. But there you go. Anyway, link uh, to this guy in the description if you're interested.